Hello there and welcome to Oxum Stadium, respected and feared by all opponents. This might be, per capita, the loudest place in college football. Very tough environment for any visitor. But this contest is not a regular matchup. A battle of two top tens. Two forces colliding. One team leaves here, making a resounding statement. As we'll see the number two team in the country, the Ohio State Buckeyes. Taking on the fourth-ranked team, the Oregon Ducks. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler here in the booth with Kirk Herb Street. I think we've talked long enough, Kirk. Let's get this game going. The Buckeyes will kick this away to get us going. Fields it just outside the goal line. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. The Ducks offense comes on the field to open this game. And here comes that star wide receiver. He's got the bounce, the aura. He walks on the field with some swag saying, I'm the man, and I know it. Oh, he certainly does, and you know what? He probably should. It's founded in all the hard work that he puts in, the dedication in the summertime during practice. You can see some of the defensive backs watch him as he warms up studying him because they know it's going to be a long day trying to deal with this receiver. They got some ground to make up, second and long from the 15. They'll run it here. That's the running back with the ball. I mean, they bring him down after a solid gain, but it's still well short of the first down marker. Just love watching this back run. Gets behind that offensive line, lowers his pads, and gets a nice solid gain. On this opening possession, they'll face a third down and five. Looking to throw, it's Gabriel. And he lofts it toward the left sideline. And that's incomplete. They weren't afraid to let it fly, but it brings up a fourth down. Well, this defense has got to be aware that this quarterback and this offensive coordinator, they're not afraid to take shots. Here we see it early in this game, throwing the ball downfield. The defense has got to be aware. Keep those safeties back. Keep your eyes up. Try to keep a lid on this offense and look for some turnover opportunities. No will kick it away here. Oh, he's got a crease here. Look out. And the returner is tackled by this punt coverage team. The Buckeyes offense out there for their first possession. Here comes that star wide receiver with the swag that kind of rubs opponents the wrong way, Kirk, because he's saying, I don't care who you are, I'm going to embarrass you today. Well, Chris, there's a rumor that this guy actually DMs the opposing corners before the game that he's going to go up against as if to say, hey, it's going to be a long day for you today. But the wild thing is he actually comes out and single-handedly unravels defenses to the point that by the end, it looks like he's in the heads of the opposing secondary. Just underway, and this home crowd is fired up and ready to make a difference today. And now the running back's got it again. And the senior able to make the stop after a short game. So now it's third and short from the 43. Can they keep the drive going or perhaps face a tough fourth down decision? Quarterback pulls the ball. It's a keeper. Fighting for yardage, but the defense stops him just short of that first down marker. Well, anytime you use your quarterback as a runner, the goal is obviously to hit some big plays. You've got to be careful of letting your quarterback take too many big hits. Not only can he get tired, he can also start to fumble the football. Buckeyes will bring their punt team onto the field. Looking to flip the field here. And this will be fair caught and at the 15. And the powerful Ducks offense retakes the field. This group is coming off a quick three and out. Can they put something together in this drive? Pressure is coming. Grab down the middle. It's James. Brought to the turf but made the first man miss on the way to the first down. Boy, nice completion here by this Oregon offense to be able to show you it's not just about the quarterback's ability to run. Often you associate that with that Oregon quarterback, right? That dual threat guy, guy that can run it. 
Do not forget about their ability to throw the football out in Eugene. Think about Darren Thomas, the career that he had. He started for a few years, took his team all the way to the national championship, made some big throws, and Justin Herbert. Of course, enough said. We see it every NFL Sunday, what he can do. Four-year starter for the Ducks. We're still seeing these Ducks quarterbacks being able to throw the football. Second down after that run on the previous play. Snags a quick throw. And he's tackled immediately, so not much of a gain on the play. Well, it's a game of matchups. Always has been and it always will be, especially on the perimeter. And the quarterback believes his guy is better than their guy. Solid gain on the running play. Third down now. Looking to throw yet again. He's running out of time here. That's reeled in. It's Stewart. The defense stops him just short of the marker. That'll bring up fourth down. Chris, great effort here by this defense to keep him short of the first down. Now they've got a tough decision to make here on this fourth down and short. And the Ducks will line up to kick it away. Looking to kick it away for the second time. The coverage team makes the stop on this return. Here comes the Buckeye offense onto the field. Last time was a quick three and out. Can they get a drive going this time? Powering through. Tough running to avoid a loss that just barely gets back to the line of scrimmage. Chris, you know me. I love to see defensive backs and especially corners that are willing to come up and get physical against the run game. What a job of making that play in space. No gain because of the play of that corner. Here's the second down play. They flip it to him on the jet sweep. The pickup is six yards of third down and four now. Man, that jet sweep action puts so much pressure on a defense. You get so locked in on the ball attacking you downhill. But when offenses sprinkle this kind of offense in, it stretches this defense out wide and can create some vertical seams for big plays. Looking downfield, it's Howard. Makes the throw across the middle of the field. Can't hold on. Good defensive play. Brings up a fourth down. Man, on your own side of the field, you're playing a risky game here. Third and short. Your goal should just be keep this drive alive the best way you can sometimes. Is just hand the ball off to your running back and have him get behind that offensive line and go to work. Curious to see what they do now here on this fourth and short. And on fourth down, the punter sends it away. Running it back, it's Johnson. Good effort by the return man. They get him down, but that's a solid gain on the return. And the Oregon offense is back out on the field. They were forced to punt last time. Can they get this offense going finally? Get some points out of this possession. I think this defense keeps thinking about them throwing the football, and by doing that, they're opening up running lanes. Good positive yards there by the running back. Important second down play coming up. Quarterback sets up, looking for an open man. Grab behind the line, it's James. Defense shoves him out of bounds, not much of a game there. Now the running back that time just kind of sneaks out of the backfield and shows his hands on that nice catch. Offense looking to keep the drive going here. Third and short now from the 44. Intercepted, picked off by the defense. Breaking free at the 35. Finally able to take him down, but that's a great return after the pick. He didn't really seem to feel like he had anybody open. He just puts it up in the air, and the defense says, thank you, we'll take it. Here comes the powerful Ohio State offense onto the field. They're coming off a three and out, looking to produce a positive drive here. And he'll loft it to the end zone. Makes the catch. Can he get in? And he steps out of bounds, just short of the end zone. Couldn't quite get there. 
What a pitch and catch by the quarterback and receiver for a big gain for this offense. The Buckeyes will line up here on first down and goal. Dropping back, it's Howard. Makes the grab in the end zone. Touchdown, Buckeyes. Well, that's a thing of beauty right there. Good job all around. Offensive line gave the quarterback enough time. Quarterback puts it right on the money. And with this receiver running a route like this, makes it pretty simple. All he had to do was get his head turned around, catch that football. He's already in the end zone for the touchdown. Lining up to try the extra point. BAT is good. They jump in front, 7 0. Kickoff team is on the field to boot this one away. Return starts from inside the five be tackled at the 17 strong job by the coverage team and that powerful Oregon offense retakes the field we'll see if this quarterback can shake off the interception he threw in the last possession goes backwards losing three yards there but the linebacker is really the quarterback of the defense on this play diagnosed that read quickly and executed it flawlessly he just flew in and blew up the option play for a loss so behind the six, second and long from their 14. Grab behind the line. It's Stewart. To get him down quickly, not much of a gain on that completion. You know, they're completing passes, but they're not getting the ball downfield. It puts a lot of pressure on your receivers to make plays after the catch. Now you're third down and long. You're going to have to get the ball thrown downfield if you want to be able to put drives together. And he'll drop back here on third down. And looking for a big play here. Deep ball is caught for a huge gain here. That's a huge gain. Stop finally made it to 43. What a clutch play here by this offense to convert on third down. I know it's still early in this game, but the fact that they've dug themselves a hole to convert there and keep this drive alive, they got a new set of downs and a chance to dig into this lead. The shotgun run call. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Chris, I think we all kind of get caught up in third down. What, what's an offense doing on third down? But I think what's also important is how well do you defend first down. If you can hold your opponents to a short gain or a tackle for a loss, you throw the offense out of whack, and their game plan gets much more challenging to try to come up with that first down. And it's the senior getting home with the sack. What a play here by this defensive line. You can get so caught up in the flashy offense of Ohio State in recent years. But let's not forget, they still play defense in the shoe and have such great history and tradition with that defensive line play. So two losses in a row puts them in a tough spot, third and very long. Dropping back, it's Gabriel. The pass rush closing in. Just throws it away, but takes a big hit in the process. Well, he just threw it away here, Chris, and it's not the worst decision. You'd wish he'd find a guy open to give him a chance for this offense to convert, but at least they have some room now to work if they want to bring the punter out. The Ducks will bring their punt team onto the field. And he gets it away, a directional kick with pretty good distance. That punt heading out of bounds, so there'll be no return here. Offense comes up to the line. They might have a chance for a couple more plays before the quarter expires. He hands it to the back. Defense will make the stop of what will probably be the final play of this opening quarter. Well, Kurt, Ohio State has the lead here after one. And at the end of the first quarter, let's check out the stats so far.
plenty of time for some plot twists here as we begin the second quarter. The loss sets up a second and long from the 20. Here's the snap, looking to throw here. Caught over the middle, it's Thurman. Again, this is a really nice job here by the defense, keeping everything in front of them in that situation. Now, they're rewarded with this third and long. We'll see if they do the same thing here, or are they going to sell out and bring the pressure? So the offense getting set. This is not where you want to be against this defense. Third and long. The pocket breaking down. And he can't escape. It's a sack for the defense. Interesting call here by the defense in their dime set with six defensive backs. Instead of manning up and applying pressure on the receivers, they sit back, make it tougher on the quarterback, make him have to read their zone coverage. He gets confused and allows the defensive line to get to the quarterback. The Buckeyes will line up to put it away. Fair catch is made, but there is a flag down, so let's sort this one out. And the head coach will decide to accept the penalty and take the yardage. The offense gets a second chance of points here after that special team's roughing penalty. Grab down the middle. It's a buka. Pass caught, second down now. Looking for a gap, it's Henderson. Stop at the 43, but that's enough to make a first down. Well, that's a beautiful run here for the first down, really living up to that reputation of the great backs that they've had over the years. Think about Archie Griffin and Eddie George, Ezekiel Elliott, J.K. Dobbins, just so many great backs. We're seeing another one right here. Buckeyes begin a new series here, first and ten. Shotgun formation, here's an inside give. Getting close to midfield now, they bring him down to the 47. It's not a huge gain here, but if you add up multiple runs like that throughout the course of a game, by the fourth quarter, you're going to start to see that affect the defense. The game makes it second and medium. They'll run it here. Running back has the ball. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. Offense trying to move into scoring position if they can convert third and short here from the 50. Can he make it to the marker? They tackle him behind the line, a loss of four. And they don't block the defensive end who shows some quickness, Kirk, getting around the edge that time. Yeah, this guy's usually getting around the edge to put pressure on the quarterback, but he reminds everybody here that this guy's a complete package. Not only can he pressure the quarterback, but also he is very, very talented and shows you the physicality he has against the run as well. With the return, it's Johnson. And the coverage team pins him in and brings him down. And the Ducks' powerful offense is back on the field. The last possession, they were forced to kick it away. Can they finally get things going this time? Keep it on the ground. There's the handoff. And they'll stop him after a short game. Well, another short game for this offense on the ground. And you got to give a lot of credit to the defense. They have really negated that aspect of this offense the entire first half and really making them one-dimensional. And if that doesn't change, I don't know how they get back into this game. Second down after that run on the previous play. Looking downfield, it's Gabriel. Throws it to the right. Looks downfield and connects with a wide open wide receiver. Tackle is finally made, but it's a huge gain all the way to the 48 yard line. Hey, a first down here by this Oregon offense. Nice to see the quarterback and receiver in sync and very efficient. Something that Oregon really prides itself on. As much as you want to think about that quarterback with the ability to run, Remember, they can hurt you with their arm as well. Handoff here from the shotgun. And they tackle him, but a nice pickup on that running play. 
Great job by the offensive line here, opening up some holes and giving the running back room to run on first down. Plays like this can open up the playbook for the play caller, allow him to make that defense think, are they going to run? Maybe play action, maybe throw the ball downfield. Second down after that run on the previous play. Sticking with the running game. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Well, I don't think the offensive line gave the back much of a chance at all. Now, give credit to the defense. It was almost like they were anticipating a run and got up close to the line of scrimmage in a hurry. Offense gets set up here. It's third down. They'll try to run for the first down. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. That back just had nowhere to go. Got to give credit to the defense and their run fits on that play. And the Ducks will bring their punt team on the field now. The punt goes out of bounds. Looks like they'll spot it near the 25. Okay, here comes the Ohio State offense back on the field. They're trying to build on their lead. They were forced to punt on the last possession. They tackle him behind the line, a loss of four. Well, the quarterback does everything right except pitch the football. The defensive end's going to take him, which is great. That's what you want. But you got to get that ball out quicker to not allow that defensive end to make that play. So from the 21-yard line, it's now second and long. To throw, it's Howard. Receiver makes the grab. Tackle finally made. That's a very solid gain, but not close to first down yardage yet. Simple pitch and catch on the drag route. Quarterbacks love these routes because they're short throws, but those yards after the catch kind of bad your stats. So it's third and long from the 29. The defense play coverage or blitz. Ball handed to the running back. Breaks loose at the 40. They make the stop, but a big game puts them in enemy territory. Ball spotted at the 48. I love this unconventional call by the offense coordinator. Third and medium, a lot of times you're thinking about throwing the football, but instead they're able to run the ball with great execution, and they pick up the first down. The Buckeyes come to the line to start a fresh set of downs. He hands it off from the gun. It's good for a three-yard gain, so second and seven. Hey, listen, you don't always have to have big plays to be successful. It's a nice, solid gain here. Keeps you on schedule, and you get ready for that next play. Offense getting set. Second down play here. And the quarterback keeps it on the option. And the senior able to make the stop after a short gain. It's the two-minute warning of this close, competitive first half. Offense needing to keep this drive alive. It's a third down play. Quarterback looking to connect with the receiver here. Fires it to the wide out. Catch made down the left side, an explosive play. Heads out of bounds after a solid gain, more than enough to pick up a first down. And you just continue to see the chemistry between these two. And they told us yesterday in our production meeting, they spent hours and hours of working and developing that chemistry and that rhythm by throwing together throughout those summer months. And, man, it's starting to really pay off. He's become his security blanket for the quarterback, and especially on third down, get him the ball. Off target and incomplete. Now it's second down here. Dropping back. It's Howard. Caught by the back behind the line of scrimmage. Defense reacts quickly. A very short gain on the play. Well, they get positive yards here. But I have a sense that they wanted a little bit more with that pitch and catch. Now it's third and short in the 24. One of those line of scrimmage battles that could help decide this game. Off the play fake, looking to throw the football. Oh, a sack, the senior on this defense making a big play. 
And a timeout is called important stage late here in the second quarter. So they're short on fourth down. The coach decides to trot out the field goal team. And he's got it from 47 yards away, showing off the deep range. Snap, the hold, the kick, everything there perfect to put three points up here for the offense. So after the field goal, the kicker out there again to boot it away. Fields it inside the five-yard line. They'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. And the Oregon offense comes back out on the field. Not a whole lot of time remaining before halftime to cut into this lead. First play of the drive, looking to throw the football. And he floats this pass deep down the right side. And the pass is dropped. Would have been a big game, but he couldn't hold on. Chris, the defense catches a break here. They got behind coverage. Looked like a big play, if not a touchdown. And the receiver just dropped the ball. Offense lines up for a second down play off the incompletion. Looking to pass, it's Gabriel. Oh, it's picked off. What a play. Can he take it all the way? Return to pick six. Touchdown, Ohio State. Chris, how about the safety here? Just kind of sitting back, waiting patiently to read the quarterback. And then once the ball's in the air, there's the range to come up with that interception. And I love that he's got the speed in the hands to make this quarterback pay for it. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. And the extra point is good. It's 17-0. So after the touchdown, here's the kickoff, and we'll see if the opposing offense has time to answer before halftime. He's going to return it from near the goal line. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. And the powerful Ducks offense retakes the field. They've got a choice here in the final minute. Do they get aggressive, try to cut into this lead, or play it safe and point toward the second half? And he just throws the ball away there. Nobody open. Excellent coverage. Completion sets up a second down. Here's the snap looking to throw. Launching downfield. The QB throws his third pick of the day. That offensive coordinator is going to have some choice words for his quarterback over the phone on the sideline after that throw. You have to be more careful with the football. And here comes the powerful Buckeye offense back onto the field. This offense has been clicking so far. But they get aggressive, go for more before halftime. Not easy to bring down. The cornerback finally gets the job done. And a quick timeout call by the offense after the play. Well, that's the thing with this guy. You've got the ability to flex him out. He shows his versatility and what he can do from that slot position. He could be the quarterback safety blanket. Quarterback escapes the pocket slides to avoid the big hit I'd really like this call by this offense on second and short looking to maybe take a shot downfield nobody is open so instead he's able to just tuck it run and pick up a nice first down fresh set of downs for the offense first down back to throw it's Howard receiver makes the catch and heads out of bounds after a decent gain
The Buckeyes looking to take advantage of the red zone trip here. Back in motion now. Second down, we're going to throw it. And it's incomplete, very near the goal line. Chris, that ball gets tipped and goes straight up into the air. That's anybody's ball. The defense does a really good job down in this area expecting the pass. The ball's in the air. Ball gets tipped. Keep in mind, the offense or the defense can get underneath that for a play, and the ball hits the ground for an incompletion. On the third and short, they'll try to throw for it. Oh, and another incompletion. Hey, the good news is here, Chris, they're still in field goal range, and they didn't cost themselves any points, but they could have more. Got to be thinking about going for this on fourth and short. So on fourth down, they will go for it. Out comes the field goal unit trying to add three points before halftime. The kick is good. It gives the offense three points to show for that drive. And they add to their lead. I was watching this guy in pregame. He has got a strong leg. Not surprised here he's able to put three points up here for the offense. So here's the kickoff now. Offense settling for three, tacking on a little bit of momentum before the halftime break. And he'll bring it out from inside the 10. And the coverage team brings him down at the 26. Final seconds in the first half, they will just take a knee and head to the locker room. Looks like the offense content to run the clock out here and go to halftime. Talk about the second half. Miller's going to wrap up the first half here. Let's kick it now to Kevin Connors with our halftime update. Thanks, guys. Looks like you've had an enjoyable day there today in Eugene. It's been a fun start to this one, and this offense has really been the story. They've opened up a sizable lead, and unless something drastic changes, things might get even more out of hand. A combination of lethal efficiency, and that offensive line has been the key. They've mauled that defense and also just about broken their will. For now, let's get back to the guys in the booth to start up this second half. The Ducks will kick this away to get the second half going. And he takes this from inside the five. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. And the Ohio State offense comes back onto the field. And this offense trying to build in a very impressive first half performance, trying to stretch the lead right away here in the third. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. Well, this guy's got some wiggle, and you can see there he's got some power. He's able to break through one arm tackle, but the secondary comes up to finish him off. Second down after that run on the previous play. Looking to throw. It's Howard. It's a short completion of the tight end. Brought down at the 28, and it's good enough for a first down. Good job of reading the blitz here by the quarterback. And it doesn't matter where it's coming from. The tight end knows that they've become a big part of the passing game because they should be an outlet. Anytime you see that kind of pressure, those extra bodies are starting to come after the quarterback. The quarterback's going to turn and get the ball out of his hands quickly, this time to the tight end for the first down. A pop pass on the jet sweep. Across the 40 now. That's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. The defense has got to do a much better job here of adjusting to the pre-snap motion. They just kind of stayed in place, and it gave the receiver plenty of room there to make a nice play. Buckeyes lining up here on first and ten. An inside give now for the shotgun. And they'll stop him short of the line to gain. It's exactly what you want to see as a play caller. You get positive yards to be able to kind of keep you on schedule as a play caller. That's all you can ask for. Good job up front and a nice run. Offense getting set. It's second down. A 
Quarterback drops back. We're going to test the secondary. Pass ball is incomplete. There was a lot of contact. No penalty. Brings up third down. Not going to be easy here. Backed up a long way to go for a first down. And the back now goes in motion. Drops back, looking to throw for it on third down. Doesn't hold on. Good hit by the DB. Now it brings up fourth down. Chris, I just wonder how many times can this defense keep making plays to keep this team in this football game? They're just not getting a lot of help from their own offense. If you guys job again stepping up on this third down, interesting call here on fourth down to see if they'll get a chance to make another play to give their own offense good field position. The punt goes out of bounds. Looks like they'll spot it near the 10. And the Oregon offense is back out on the field. And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. That run moves the ball to the 16. I tell you, to be able to pick up a nice gain like that, those offensive linemen have to sustain their blocks. Gave them a chance at a really nice gain. And the Ducks looking to use the up-tempo offense here. They'll feed the back again. They make the stop, but not before a solid gain that time. Ooh, how about that offensive line? That's just getting a hat on a hat, opening just enough room for the back to be able to get through there for a big gain. The defense with pre-stamp movement of its own. Big guys up front lined up. It's first down. And there's the handoff. Now uh, they test the middle of the defense, but get nothing. Boy, how about this defense? Just so physical against the run. These guys have not been able to do anything on the ground, and it's because of that defensive line and those linebackers taking away the run game. Second down after that previous play. They'll run it here. Great cut there. They bring him down to the 32-yard line. Hunter has been very busy so far. Can they finally convert here on third down? And the motion by the back now forces the defense to adjust. Looking to make a big play downfield. The catch is made for a huge pickup. Touchdown, Oregon. Strong game by this quarterback. That's a crucial response by this offense, but still plenty of work to do here in the third quarter. Well, I love that they're still fighting and competing. You can tell they've made some adjustments at half and try to get them back into this game. And that score is a great start. They're set now to try the PAT. And it's good. Kickoff team on the field getting set now. They'll return it from inside the five. Solid job by the coverage team. They bring him down at the 16. Okay, here comes the Ohio State offense back on the field. This game has suddenly gotten more interesting, so this offense needs to be productive here. Second down play coming up. quarterback keeps the football and he's got it already past the first down marker they bring him down but that's a solid gain on the play boy this offense does such a great job of putting the threat of the quarterback and the running back on this defense it puts the defense in a tough spot because it's really hard to take both away 
This time, the quarterback gets out and shows you the speed he has as well. Off the play fake on first down. Bringing pressure. Caught on the outside. It's Scott. And he heads out of bounds after gaining a few yards. And here the tight end shows off his hands for a nice game. Love to see the big man get his touches. A second down after that completion. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And the senior able to make the stop after a short game. Third down after that running play. Back to pass. It's Howard. Fires it to the wide out. Who makes the grab? An explosive play. They finally got him, but at the 40. Well, this quarterback is unflappable. Here they are working with the lead in the second half. Get to a third down. You got to throw the football. This is where you trust the quarterback to make a good decision, an accurate throw. He does it. You convert and you keep working that clock. Offense moving receivers around now before the snap. Quick pass. Here comes a jet sweep. Picks up three yards, so second and seven. Offense operating from the pistol. Quick pass, the catch is made. And the defense swarms not much of a gain on that completion. Well, defense didn't have any time at all to get pressure on the quarterback. He gets the ball out of his hands pretty quickly on the hitch to the receiver. Third down play for this offense. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. Grab near the sticks. It's a Buka. Tackle made at the 26. Good enough for a first down. Boy, this offensive line, you got to tip your cap. They've done everything you would ask of them in taking care of this quarterback. They do it again here on third down, working with that lead. You know the pressure's coming, and they deliver. The Buckeyes will have first and 10 here. Looking to throw it again. He's moving out of the pocket. He stays alive. Quarterback gets down to avoid the tackle. How about this by the quarterback? He takes a negative play and turns it into positive yards and slides down before taking a big shot. It's an excellent job of getting down to avoid that big hit. Second down play coming up for this offense. Off play action. He's looking to throw. And he's going to fling it deep going for it all here. The pass is intercepted. Boy, this defense did exactly what they needed to do. Come up with a turnover here in the second half to get themselves back in the game. They get the interception. Now, can their offense come up with a way to cut into this lead? And that powerful Oregon offense retakes the field. They were clicking last time. Great protection. The pitch and catch was solid. Right down for a touchdown. It's a two-yard game. Second and eight coming up. Defense does a really nice job here of being able to contain that run game. Held them just to two yards. Chris, to me, this changes the playbook a little bit now for the offense. The guy calling the plays at second and eight, that's a different deal. Now he's got to probably think about going through the air instead of staying on the ground. Give it to the back again. And he's tackled, but only after picking up a first down. Sometimes I almost get mesmerized watching these runners who have great vision. You know, the eyes that carry their feet to the open space, making people miss. I just love watching those guys do work. And now from the pistol formation. Ball handed off. And the runner brought down right at the 38-yard line. It's a good, solid game. Five or six yards. Love to see that from the running game.
Well, Ohio State has the lead here, Kirk. We've reached the end of three. Time is running out to cut into the lead. Let's take a look at the game sets before we move on. One quarter to go. Let's see if this sets up as a classic finish. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. Change of pace now looking to throw the football. It's picked off again. The fourth for this QB today. Look out. He's got some space. Touchdown, Buckeyes. And the defense joins the party with a pick six. Well, it's just something freeing when you have this kind of lead and you can just turn the defense loose. Getting aggressive pays off for them here. They get the interception. And what athletic ability there to take it into the end zone for a touchdown. Now the offense will go for a two-point conversion. They'll try to run this one in. And he's stopped short. The two-point try fails. They can't build on their lead here. The kickoff team on the field now as they get set to send this one away. And here's the return from inside the five. They'll be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. And the Ducks' powerful offense is back on the field. It'll be interesting to see if this quarterback can bounce back. He threw a pick six in the last possession. He's brought down quickly as short gain gets them a few yards closer to the marker. I really like what this defensive coordinator is doing right now. He's got a nice lead to sit back. The most important thing is tackling this offense inbounds so that clock will keep ticking. Pass complete. It's second down now. Dropping back. It's Gabriel. Defense is coming after him. And he just throws it away there. Safe move. Had nobody open. After the incompletion, they'll line up now for a third and five. And the quarterback drops back, looking for an open man. And here comes a deep shot. Caught way downfield for a huge game. And they've got him at the four, but a big gain of that catch and run. Boy, that's got to be a breakdown in coverage or a missed assignment. There's no way that a receiver should be that wide open. The Ducks hoping to punch it in here. They have first and goal. Keep it on the ground on first and goal. Fights his way in for the score. Touchdown, Ducks. Chris, it's a great touchdown run here by this back. But the continuity this offensive line was on display, and that's the reason he was able to get into the end zone. Kicking team out for the PAT try. And it's up and good. Here's the kickoff team now, set to boot this one away. And it's fielded. Returner trying to make something happen. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. Here comes the Buckeye offense onto the field. They had some good things going on the last drive, but it ended suddenly with the pick. Let's see what they can do here. And he will be stuffed for no gain. Chris, textbook job by the defense surrounding the runner and preventing that play from being bounced to the outside. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? 
to throw. It's Howard. And they heave it deep downfield. This one is broken up and falls incomplete. I mean, I get trying to get the football to this receiver. He's one of the most talented guys in the country. But with two guys bracketing him, I don't know why you would make that throw. Should have been intercepted. Well, a serious challenge for this offense. You don't want to be in third and long inside your own 20. How much of a risk will they take to try to pick up this first down? Running back has it on a screen now. Screen plays are risky because the defense can get to the quarterback and it also can be covered. Many times, the quarterback just throws it away. Here they get some positive yards. The Buckeyes will send their punt team onto the field. On the kick now for the fifth time today. He's got an opening. Watch out. He's got great speed. Coverage team brings down the returner. And the Oregon offense comes back out on the field. They'll hand it off. And it'll be smothered right at the line for no gain. Chris, I'll be really honest with you. I don't know why they continue to try to run the football. I'm all about balance. I'm all about trying to make sure a defense has to defend the run and the throw. But at this point in the game, they haven't been able to run the ball. They're going to have to go through the air if they're going to come back and take the lead in this game at some point. Looking to pass here on second down. Got him for a sack. A big play made them one of the senior leaders of this defense. And just like that, you squeeze the life out of this offense. That's another sack by this defense. They have been in that backfield the entire game and a big reason why these guys are enjoying a lead. And sack sets up an important third down. To the air, it's Gabriel. Here's a shot toward the right sideline. That one falls incomplete. They tried to press it deep, but now it brings up fourth down. Well, that's not what you want to see as an offense when you're trailing late in a football game. An incompletion on third down and long. Hey, it's a bit of a risk, but with that clock looking the way it looks right now, I think you got to go for it here and hope to convert on fourth and long. needs a completion here on fourth down look at this he'll go deep again and it falls incomplete for a turnover on downs what's the call here the drive begins with excellent field position offense will keep it on the ground here run down after a seven yard game so it's second and three that's a great way to start this drive after taking over in really good field position working with the lead chance here for a knockout punch Getting set. Here's second down. Moving the receiver around pre-snap. Quarterback wants to throw it on second down. Makes a quick grab. Tackle made after a nice pickup on the play. Well, the defense sits back in a zone coverage. Good job here by the quarterback recognizing that soft coverage and he hits the routine drag route underneath for a first down. Buckeyes looking to cash in this red zone trip. They're going to run it here. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. Coming to the line on second down. This is important. They want to avoid a third and long. Out of the shotgun, he hands it off. Couldn't quite get there, but brought down at the one-yard line. And that's a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. Don't forget, good blocking up front by the big fellas. And this running back, he just seems to have a nose for that first down marker. A few more runs like this, and he's going to be getting into a rhythm for sure. First down and goal here. A touchdown just about puts this game on ice. And the fullback gets in on the action with the carry. Fights his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Ohio State. 
Chris, you don't see it often, but how much do I love seeing that fullback get a touchdown? He blocks all the time. They rarely give him a chance to get his hands on the ball, and when he does, he's rewarded with six points. Now the important point after attempt. Extra point up and good. A 19-point lead now here in the final quarter. Now they get set to kick it away. Fields it just outside the goal line be tackled at the 17 strong job by the coverage team and the powerful Ducks offense retakes the field last time they gambled and lost went for it in fourth down in their territory and got stopped caught over the middle it's Johnson they stop him after a six-yard game so second and four offensively you get to the fourth quarter you're down in a game you're thinking about vertical shots and getting out of bounds to try to stop the clock if I'm a defensive coordinator I'll give that up all game long short little routes tackling them inbounds let's keep that clock moving to the air it's Gabriel and he's going to stretch the defense taking a deep shot here and the outfield shot is incomplete brings up third down well, they don't connect here, but this is what you have to do. It's late in the game. You need points. You're behind. You got to take some shots. I'd go right back to it, try to find a matchup, and go to one of your receivers that can make a play for you. Out of the gun now on third down. Just trying to get rid of it. Just gets the pass away, but took a shot that time. Man, the quarterback here just threw this football away on third and short. Starting to wonder about this running game right now. If on third and short, you decide to throw for it, maybe they're looking to give the defense a new look or maybe keep them guessing. Let's see what they do here on fourth down. Fourth down. He's throwing for it. Looks up at the running back, but he's got work to do. No, they've stopped him short. The defense with a big fourth down play to protect this lead late in the game. And they'll work the clock here by keeping it on the ground. Got space looking for the end zone here. Touchdown, Buckeyes. And the beatdown continues. Chris, he broke free from the line of scrimmage. I thought he might have a 10 or 15 yard gain, but he shows you the speed that he has to take it all the way to the house. And now here comes the point after attempt. And the kick is up and good. They tack on a point to their lead. Now the kickoff team is out on the field. The turn begins inside the 10. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. And the Oregon offense is back out on the field. First play of the drive, they'll come out throwing. Looking to make a play deep downfield. And he is wide open for a huge game. And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Oregon. This guy can do it all. We've seen him go behind coverage and make plays downfield. We can see him catch the ball underneath, just like this. And when he catches a football, he is so dangerous after the catch. This one leads him into the end zone for the six points. Now they line up to kick the extra point. And the PAT is good.
formation would indicate they're going to try the onside kick here. And the hand seam able to recover the football. Here comes the powerful Ohio State offense onto the field. They've really built momentum in this game. They've been hard to stop. Can the defense make some adjustments, come up with a stop here? They bring him down to the 27. This offense really threatening now. Boy, this offense's execution has been on point all game long, but especially in this fourth quarter. They're getting better and better, and this defense seems to have just quit out there. That's a strong run. Keeps the drive going. First down now. On the run, it's Henderson. And the senior able to make the stop after a short game. Second down after that run on the previous play. They'll run it from the gun. And that's a solid gain before the defense is able to bring him down. Well, they didn't bust that for a big play, but it makes this third down coming up a little bit more manageable, and that certainly has a lot of value. The Buckeyes are going to cash in this red zone trip. Kibi decides to keep it here. And he'll get the first down yards before they finally bring him down. How impressive have these guys been up front today? Big third down, know what you need to do, get the first down, continue to hold on to that lead, continue to work clock, and get that much closer to securing a victory. The Buckeyes with first and ten here. It's a quarterback keeper. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. And it's a nice job by this defense. They saw option. They actually forced the quarterback to pull the ball on the read. And then they corral him for a loss. You could tell they worked hard on that in practice. Here's the second down play. And from the shotgun, an inside handoff. And the defense able to hold him there to a short game. 